Hi, Jennifer. Before we get started, I'll tell you a little bit about the stencil brushes and the various things that you may need for an average project. No ordinary paintbrush will do. Okay, a stencil brush is flat and it's round. Nearly everything it does is either flat on or round on. So you remember, flat and round and those two brush strokes. Okay. To hold your stencil on, as I pick one up here, you can either use a spray repositioning adhesive, such as this one. If you're using spray uh, re repositioning adhesive, you only want the lightest mist on the back of the stencil, okay? It mustn't be too sticky. So once the back of the stencil has been sprayed, if there is too much, it will stay mm. stuck to your hand, mm -hmm. okay? When it's pushed into position, you should be able to peel it nicely. All right, so I'm gonna try the spray adhesive and see how this works. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Whoops, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> okay, 12 inches away. Oh, 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 oh. A oh. light mist. Can oh. I just show you? Let's do no more with this. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, now if I put this into position, Normally, if there was a light tack on the back of that, mm -hmm. that would just be enough to hold it. I have a feeling, oh, this is all over my fingers. Okay. This, this is, is not yeah. what you want. You see mm -hmm. how it transfers? Leaving the glue on there. Yeah. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. It's left a lot of the glue exactly. right there. That could damage your stencil. So, okay. you want the light tack repositioning adhesive, but you want a, a mist across the back of the stencil. Okay. Don't squirt. Mist. Okay? Don't okay. squirt it. Okay. Mist. All oh, right. Brilliant. That is really a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to start with this rather fabulous looking stencil mm -hmm. here. Now don't be daunted. It is exactly the same process whether or not you're stenciling a small card maybe for someone's birthday or whatever, or a much larger project. It is all the same kind of technique. Now you can either tape your stencil into position or you can use a low-tack repositioning spray, such as this one here. We've got quite a, quite a good structure on this shape, so tape should be enough for us at this point. Your stencil should be held flat to its surface. We're just taking a small amount of this particular design to work on, so we'll just tape off the bits that we don't need. Now sometimes you will be able to take the paint straight from the lid of the pot. You never want to dip your brush actually into paint, so you would either use the lid of the pot or you'd decant some paint onto a paper plate such as we have here. The acrylic paint tends to be my favorite, mm -hmm. but if you are using, say, a roller and you're using it on a wall and you may be using one color, then you would use household paint. Okay. You know, it's, mm -hmm. you will learn as you go along the different sorts of paints that are going to work best for each job, but mm -hmm. I would say as a rule, a water-based paint. Okay. You only take a very small amount of paint onto the bristles of your stencil brush and then you work that paint into the bristles. Mm -hmm. Then your secret ingredient, uh -huh. paper towel. Okay, right, a little dabber. <laughs> if everyone knew about the paper towel, nobody's paint would bleed underneath the stencil, really. Okay. So you're going to use a very small amount of paint. You work it then into the paper towel. So you've pretty much taken everything off. There's just the littlest mm, bit left. Not quite. You'll be surprised how far this goes. You can either tap your paint on, mm -hmm. okay? known as stippling, tap, 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 or you can apply the paint mm, mm -hmm. in small circles. Now the important thing at this point is that you just tickle the surface. Okay. Remember that, okay? So far we've learned that brush strokes are flat on or they're round on, mm -hmm. and you just tickle the surface. Okay. If you want to make the paint strong in color and depth, you go over it a second time. It's just going to look a right mess, but just to show you so far 
those different strokes. Mm, Can you see okay, all yes. the different depths of colour we've mm -hmm. got from one scant amount of paint on mm -hmm. our brush and just by the different ways that we would use it. Okay. Then you go back again, take up another small amount, go back to the same patch on your paper towel and then again work it through the holes in your stencil depending on which brush stroke you are I doing. think that's a big mistake I've made in the past is I've had way too much paint on my brush. Don't I've worry. never gotten it that dry before. Yeah, it really is surprising how far the paint will go. It is much faster to swirl the paint than to stipple it. And large brushes work, usually work much better for you than small ones. Small ones are for details. Mm -hmm. So there are various different sizes you can use. I'm going to be showing you shading, blending, and all sorts of other things um, throughout our lesson. Okay. So we'll stick with this smaller brush for now. If I was going to do this all in one color, I would certainly be using this size. I see. Okay. Now I'm adding just a little bit of extra color around the outside edge of this petal. It's important that the edges of the pattern are there. Mm. The middle can almost take care of itself. Okay. You see, there is no paint applied at all here. Mm -hmm. But it will make sense right. when, we, uh, when we remove the stencil. Okay. I usually say just do enough to show you that you bothered. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be in each area. The primary purpose of this little bit of demonstration is to show you the two different techniques, the stipple and the swirl, and to prove to you how very, very dry this paint will be. See mm -hmm. how we're still going with that small amount of paint? It's amazing how much coverage you get with such little paint. It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get even more so when you're not underneath the studio light <laughs> and talking at the same time. It's mm -hmm. amazing how quickly you will get through this. Now, the point here is to oh, show you really how dry hard. that is. Now, just rub your hands over that. No, seriously, oh, you really can dry. really rub Literally your hand dry. over it. Yeah. Wow. And it's beautiful. I love the well, it just different textures. Yeah. And it shows you all those different depths of color mm -hmm. were from one small stencil brush and just a squirt of paint.